Greetings Toy fans, so today I'm going to be doing a quick review of a new book I picked up called Travis Lou Curiosities. I managed to get this direct from the artist and basically this is now out of print. So if you want a copy of this, hit up Travis Lou on Twitter and hopefully he's got some copies left so you can get one. I managed to get this one signed, he had two options for me, signed or signed with a drawing which was a little more expensive and I sadly couldn't afford it. Uh, but I must get it signed anyway, and that's still calling cool itself. Quick look at the front of the book. So you've got this, this really nice picture that's very tactile. And on the back, it just says, Mer Meticulous Fonto Realistic Irreality. I'm uh, guessing this is just a review from, some fil from a filmmaker. I actually haven't had a look in this book. I got it this morning. Check the contents because it arrived damaged and I've literally just set up to make a video. So let's open this together, shall we? First page. And that pretty much sums up Travis Lou's work right there. This is pencil and I, I pencil. I'm guessing I know some of his work's done with pencil. And how, how do you create something like that? That's why I really like his work because it looks so photo realistic and it reminds me of like the old victorian pictures that they did so yeah that's why i like his work um let's have a quick look so ah, there you go so that's my autograph from travis lewin he's actually a it's actually he's actually done a little drawing for me which is pretty damn awesome to kenton best wishes travis or is that lou i'm not sure but it's from travis lewin and it's signed which is absolutely awesome and makes paying what i paid well worth it to be honest i didn't pay the 100 pounds whatever they're asking around and i paid a lot less under 50 pounds in fact with shipping so awesome bargain let's have an actual look in the book so portrait of an artist as a young monster uh travis lou's monster portrait showcases a finely wrought world of synthetic grotesqueness i'm not going to read any more of that because as you can tell i am actually stuttering and struggling to read this so let's just get into the book itself because that's what i want to see and awesome 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 this is why i wanted this book because i love these drawings like i say this like they remind me so much of victorian pencil draw um, not pencil drawings um photographs that they did so that's why I, I really like these and as you as you can see on the side here this text after so basically this is just a little bit of text explaining about the character so this one says after an explosion in a coal mine myron hastings suffered a massive head injury that left a large hole in the top of his head and caused him to lose most of his personality. Uh, the monks that nursed him back to health placed a candle in the top of his head, as you do. He spent the rest of his life as a colourful tour guide for the region, entertaining tourists with candlelit tours of the ancient buildings. <laughs> I, I, I like this book already, and I'm looking forward to sitting down and actually getting a chance to read it. The idea of having the picture that's just beautiful in its own right and then a story to coincide with that awesome 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 so there you go guys just a quick look at the book i could be here for hours travis lewis curiosities and first impressions awesome book awesome pictures awesome price so if you want to get a copy don't pay the stupid prices on amazon or whatever Contact Travis Lowe on Twitter, at Travis Lowe, I believe it is, and see if he's got any more copies for sale. And, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out our sponsors, flatties.co.uk. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, Design Toys UK. I also have a website, www.designtoysuk.co.uk. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, and share the video. And I'll see you later. Take care, guys. Bye.